Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. This design is going to be a very cute design. Uh, I made before a super cute head chalk. So now this head chalk, it's, a, it's another version, but probably similar. Let's see what you think. There's um, It's a head chalk with three balloons plus one scrap that is going to be the nose black. Now, what I like, well, the beginning, I was always, of course, complicating myself. Okay, from here, that it's a balloon, a round balloon, making a marriage twist and then trying to grab it from here and grab a racing bin, blah, 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 a lot of work. And then it's like, okay, it's not, you know, exactly, but some things, and it's, you, most of the time, look, the simple things like this technique that I showed you before, how to make like a lavender plant. Uh, so this technique is a very cool one and I was thinking, keep it. Now, then I was in a second attempt and this kind of is adorable, cute. Yes, I decided to use a heart shape balloon, but at the end, look, it's not, it looks like a dog. This is like a wool dog <laughs> and it's okay. But okay, now this thing looks all crazy, but it's the technique that you will see, but double. That means two balloons doing the same thing. I like the idea, cute ears and then the little short legs. And one in the middle representing a little tail, believe it or not. There is something that probably you don't see, but that's kind of the process for me. And I love sharing with you also that process when I start making a design. Because it's most of the time, and sometimes it's not just the first attempt. Sometimes it's like, oh, wow, like it's like an inspiration coming direct to pa, 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 make it and it's looking great. But sometimes it takes a process that it's failures but it's not that bad anything is that bad because you can always take some details from another you know from this from here and then take it again and try again until this came and i think it's my final uh design and i love it it's cute it is easy and good thing what is this a balloon 260 uh, some things may change, the ears doesn't have to be that big, but then the rest is, is, is cute, it's adorable, look at the legs, it's separated, so you can put a you know, finger, it can stay uh, in between something and it stays there, uh, it's a very interesting technique, now I'm thinking maybe I can add a pinch twist to make it a little bit more like this if I want, but it's not necessary, so... Uh, let's see what happened because this I saw idea of the leg like this also give us a, a really kind of cute look. Look at this. Contemplate. Admire this design. What I like, I can use my Sharpie time very minimum. Okay. If you notice, very minimum. And then stickers, you know. But now if you don't have a stickers, and, and this is what I like. These stickers are great from the Amazon. I'm going to show you my stickers because... One thing to use this and looking great when you use balloons 260, small bubbles where you're gonna make the face. And the headshot is perfect because this is a small, really cute little face and the stickers can fit perfect. Um, but you can always make with Sharpie, you know, cute eyes, totally fine for me. I'm trying to find a fast, cute design and I think this is gonna be a hit. Look at this type of a uh, body so even kids gonna hug it like this they're gonna and you're gonna look at that, look at that face and so you have the short little legs and arms or or legs i don't know <laughs> this can be uh, again uh, uh you can accommodate it you know different ways but i think it's very pretty cute and so perfect size i think it's let's do it okay that's the introduction uh always Thank you all of you for collaborating with this channel, for liking, for subscribing, because that helps a lot. Yes, helps the algorithm, algorithm, you know, when you also do your comments. So thank you all of you commenting, no matter what, you can say that, hi, and that I think even help. Maybe you can type a little bit more, hi, how are you? <laughs> or something about the headshot or the design I'm sharing, you know, comment your ideas. Everything is very well appreciated. Plus, if you can also donate money, thank you so much because that helps a lot this channel to grow and, you know, have more equipment, more balloons to keep practicing. Because it's balloons, you know, like practicing and practicing. Yep. Now, let's start it. Okay, again, I start saying what? You will need a balloon scrap black. So not all that, just a little balloon scrap. Uh, so I'm going to grab uh, this, trying to inflate it. It's just very little. Look, you just need a little one finger bubble. Okay, doesn't have to be that big. So one finger bubble is good enough. 
toilet or you can use the end of a balloon totally fine okay and then color leaving a tip a little tip doesn't have to be that long if you want this to be easier kind of like make sure the end of this part you tied it a little bit so it's gonna be easier for you to make the marriage twist uh it's just not necessary really with practice you don't have to do it but if you are just starting doing this marriage twist technique that you will see you can do that so you wanna end up my cutter where is it okay i'm gonna put this and so you can have this a one finger bubble and then tie the end a little bit it's just like this okay i hope you can see it i hope so i hope so now what color if you have blush white or ivory those are really cool colors for the body then the hair okay it can be another color like especially i think brown now after you master this design then play with different colors pastel colors you know and then crazy on top why not and we can experiment if it's going to be looking at you know as a headshot and i think yes okay so in my case ivory i think i like it it's it's not white it's not yellow it's ivory <laughs> so this is a qualitex 260 uh inflated uh oh what is this uh 10 12 finger tail okay four plus four plus ten finger tail okay now chip 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 tie it from here you are going to do the marriage twist that is grab this piece and just make a marriage twist look look i'm gonna put it right here and then squish and pull and try to introduce kind of like almost all your finger this finger all almost and then grab look squish grab look this is a little nose and now all this maybe it's too long but you can always squish make it sh smaller you don't want this too long but also do you want this to represent you know the pointy part of the cute hedgehog so look how it's ending i think this is a very cute way to make hedgehogs noses and mouth now twist this part look twist this part and plus this long part also twist so then it's looking things and then from there you can make a small chick chick so small like two finger bubble two finger loop small twist and then another two finger loop look and twist okay so when you have that look at this cool idea cool technique and I share it to share it with you. Look, I was thinking, why not to make a pinch twist? It's gonna help the legs, but it's not necessary. I'm gonna make it the, the mo how it came to me. But if you want, you can make a pinch twist here to help the legs to be more straight. But it's not necessary. But you can because you're gonna have leftover balloon. That's a good part. Just a small, cute little thing. <laughs> okay, now you have this. What else? You're gonna measure like that. The, space for the eyeballs pretty much okay so i'm gonna measure from here like no more than exactly you're gonna go three finger long no more really don't no more and then from there you're gonna twist and you're gonna make a very small because i don't want to make it that big so i'm gonna make pinch twist so i'm gonna make like two finger bubble okay pinch twist soft and squishable and twist 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 because you want this soft and squishable and again another two finger bubble squish and twist okay mm, okay try to make it the same size but look squishing you're gonna give a space here because you will see in a moment what is gonna happen but when we do have this then you're gonna measure like four finger long and this is something very cool so it's, it's a very cool technique from here just four finger long and then it, okay i hope this is recording correctly because this is a really cute design so when you have this that pinch twist pinch twist then four finger bubble and then here it's gonna be like no more than three finger long another three finger long twist and those are gonna be the uh what you call these uh back legs okay but now you can leave it for a moment like this if you want or this can be waiting but you will need two balloons 160 or 260 you can try but better if you have two 160 brown or the color for the hair in my case it's gonna be brown so i'm gonna grab if i found them okay let's do this two balloons 160 someone sent me a text message halfway you're gonna inflate the halfway bowl yes when i say halfway bam it's like like look halfway like i'm talking four for like 10 finger tail each okay so if this is a 160 they commit some 
things doesn't have to be perfect but we're gonna try and do our best now from here what to do you can start in different many different ways but i'm thinking i'm gonna do this like no more than three finger loop okay lock another no more than three finger loop lock and then keep going no more than one finger bubble and then another loop like no more than three finger loop you don't want this too much so like that keep going one more time and it's already the effect of all this look it can be making this angle and that can help this design okay because you have the bubbles of crazy up so it's kind of bending this way interesting now you're gonna grab here these two and these two are gonna charge attach it to one of that ears that is gonna be this pinch twist one so grab one and one and twist it around okay thing doesn't have to be too tight but that's that's how it's gonna be um just so then you're gonna end up with one like this look i'm gonna try to see if it's connected but one pinch twist holds all this now you have here another pinch twist so now let's do the same yep to see it but it can pop it, it's gonna be too crazy you can start attaching the second 160 attach it around the pinch twist and then make that the finger bubble loop another two finger bubble loop and so they both are already twisted and make sure you are in the back now things accommodate crazy but you have to follow this last remember four finger long here ivory so you kind of have to follow that that's the way to go okay i hope you get it it seems like wow cecilia what are you doing but it's not that hard it's not that hard just follow this it looks crazy but it's gonna look cool because that's how you know the hair of these head trucks are like, bah, 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 bah. a lot of things there okay repeat we're here with just two loops we need to repeat one finger bubble and then another two finger loop another two finger loop uh twist 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 twist, twist and then another one finger bubble and then another three finger loop another three finger loop twist 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 now each side the idea it's to end up with one bubble each one finger bubble each another one finger bubble each okay twist it together so now these two balloons are connecting each other one finger bubble one finger bubble they twist it together and connect it to right here to the back legs that you have it there okay so now things are secure there especially the back legs okay now you have two sides and you still have this this i was thinking if let's see what you think we can always make a little like two and this is going to represent that maybe the belly this is how i'm experimenting and then go all the way to the mouth the cheek so it's like no more than three finger long and that's going to represent the belly and then i can go with the front legs that are going to be three finger long three finger long twist 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 and that's going to end up there now the rest you can cut okay and i'm experimenting because sometimes there's always a good way and i like to experiment to see also how it looks i'm going to show you that that is the only difference that what i did first and what i did to the end so accommodate the little cheeks here as good as it's possible for you if you think it's looking cool look 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 how cute look how cute now you have this here look grab whatever you want and make a little tail how to make a tail you can make it representing a little loop in the middle or you know i was thinking i'm gonna use the, the longest one and make two finger long and then another like three finger long twist it and then with the rest okay that is gonna be my tail look that little thing for me is my tail and then with these sides i'm gonna make just little bubbles little bubbles little bubbles to go all the way to the ears okay so let's see little bubbles little bubbles and little bubbles little bubbles as much as i, I can and then up all the way to the ears so i end up with something like this look okay this is something else to make a look their hair and i'm making three finger bubbles and then the rest i'm just gonna kind of like hide it in some way or show them to the front so it's gonna be totally fine it's part of hair it can be a detail you can leave it there you can hide it it's totally up to you 
you're gonna repeat okay again here one finger bubble another one finger bubble and then one more finger bubble and that so it's three bubbles of one finger bubble each and take it all the way up to the ears okay now pass it through the ears and again you can decide if you want that little extra bubbles in the middle to represent some hair in between the ears which i think it can be a cool interesting detail so it's up to you you can even make a bubble pinch twist if you want or another little extra pinch twist there so the thing is you're gonna end up with bubbles there in the middle and you can grab it and twist it together it's kind of representing something there something there like this i think more like hair accommodate things the best way now this loop can be open as much or coming out you know and these little bubbles in the back is kind of like all holding this together adorable beautiful as much bubbles you leave there is gonna look, be looking cute but um this is the design this is i think it's a very cute accommodate thing so just leave it the way it is it's totally fine now it's sharpie time again remember sometimes why not it's good to keep and have cute but designs easy you know simple and that's kind of is my intention you can always uh hide some things in the back um, accommodate the things you prefer and you know things doesn't have to be perfect we're trying to do our best and that's pretty much what i wanted to share with you um you see look how crazy and cute and i'm just i'm just giving him a, a hairstyle you know but it's a lot of option a lot of potential have fun this is gonna go crazy accommodate there one difference from this design the first one okay and the second one it's just that here i didn't make the extra bubble that comes from here to here like three finger bubble i'm talking about this one i didn't make it and just only keep the one that it was four finger bubble and that's it and it then went back here so i just cut the balloon from the back legs make two legs and then attach it here so but i like this because it makes me feel more stable and i think it's, it's okay you know it's okay totally fine so now design is ready now sharp time um eyes i'm gonna use my stickers because if you have it why not you you get used to this and it's gonna be faster so this time it's gonna have eyelashes yeah why not i'm gonna use this one eyelashes and just attach it one to each side and look i think it's it's cute i like it make it more cute why not grab your cheeks and you can put it to the sides look a lot of things is representing so if this is representing checks okay you want to add something else here a smiley face right here I, it's small this is a skewed a small design so few eyebrows okay okay small cute simple and this is the design of the day i hope you like it i think it's cute play with that <laughs> oh people are gonna think this is adorable okay i gotta take off my face because <laughs> it's like you're gonna see this is so cute if my face is there but look at that it's gonna be modeling. Wee! Look at that! Wee! I think it's a hit. I can't wait to see how you make it. If you make it, bracelets, this can be looking awesome. Have fun, enjoy. This is another version of a hedgehog. I make an another one, so there is another way. This is another way, very similar, but I think both are adorable. This is so cute. I'm super happy. And please, if you make it, tag me on social media as at Alpaca Global. I'm going to have to go now, but I wish you all a wonderful day. Good vibes. There's always, you know, a better day tomorrow. And if it's awesome today, okay, good. Enjoy it because maybe tomorrow is not going to be that awesome. The thing is, have fun and be happy as much as you can okay what else here um don't forget like comment subscribe please try to collaborate with this channel because you are the sponsors you right now watching this channel 
is you know you helping this channel to be better i can get more equipment more balloons um and that's what i really need <laughs> i need balloons so if you can send me balloons because i really don't want to buy because i one thing want to you know really um be able to make money in order to uh start kind of doing things that i have in mind that they are coming so but i hope you enjoyed this design and see you in my next video bye bye